Right, <clears throat> today I'm going to have a look at some uh, PRS um, bits and pieces that I bought for my uh, Alpha Wolf and my uh, Ghost. <clears throat> so PRS, Precision Rifle Systems, I think it is, um, make some really nice stuff for Brokock, air, uh, Brokock and Daystate air rifles. Uh, they make loads of stuff for the, uh, the Red Wolf as well. Um, and the Delta Wolf, the Alpha Wolf, and uh, all the Brococks, and um, other bits and pieces that you can fit on any rifle as well, really. So, I wanted um, some bits and pieces, so I thought, right, I'm going to just go out there and buy them. Uh, they're not the cheapest of stuff, it has to be said, they're not cheap. Uh, but, having said that, the quality is absolutely superb. Um, and to my way of thinking, if you're buying a really expensive air rifle, let's be honest, the Alpha Wolf, Delta Wolf, Red Wolves, um, even to a degree the uh, the Ghost is not uh, in any way, shape or form a cheap air rifle. Um, really, if you're going to put accessories on it, or bits and pieces, um, you don't want to spoil what is in essence a really beautifully engineered and made rifle by putting something cheap and nasty on. So... I thought, right, let's get some PRS stuff. Now, I know, before anyone says, that you can get um, these uh, 3D printed uh, plastic parts that are considerably cheaper. Um, and I, indeed, in the past, I bought magazines. Um, I bought a, when I had my RTI Priest, I bought a, an adjustable butt pad with a, a monopod on it. And to be honest, all of them have let me down or I've been disappointed in them. I don't like that very rough, crude finish on 3D printed stuff. Um, they don't last very well. The butt pad broke after a couple... Well, I'd had it a while, to be fair. But eventually it broke. I put it in the bag. And uh, the arms broke on it. Because they're only plastic. They just snapped. Um, the only thing I've ever had that was 3D printed and was of really, really good quality. And I don't know how he did it and he wouldn't tell me was the guy that made the uh, the cheek piece for my Uragan. Now that was beautiful because somehow he coated it in something that instead of the little styrations you get on a normal 3D printed thing, um, they gave a very smooth um, finish um, and it looked almost like uh, metal or like as if it had been rubber coated. It wasn't rubber coated but it looked like that. It was really, really top notch. And that's the only thing I've ever had that's been 3D printed really that I've been really happy with and that's lasted the course. So if you're going to do it, get good stuff. So what I bought, first off, I wanted a single shot uh, magazine, single shot loader. And this is PRS's. You can also buy this on, I think, I think Daystate sell these on their website as well. It's exactly the same thing. PRS make them for Daystate. Um, it's like a sort of collaboration, if you like. So you can either buy them direct from PRS or buy them from Daystate. Um, and it's exactly the same thing that you're buying. So basically, all it is, it's got two little detents on it. So you slide it in as per uh, the normal magazines. So that slides in like that. And then when you want to load a pellet, it flicks open to the first detent. And if you look from this side, on the first detent, the end... Of the bushing is blocked so you push your pellet in and then when you want to shoot you just flick it over uh, and if you want to you can open it fully up so you can get whatever you want in there as well beautifully machined nice little ball spring loaded ball bearings in little bushings um, that hold it in place on the detents and it sits in the rifle beautifully really really well made now these little bushings here, these uh, push out, so you can change calibers. So they just push out, they're quite a tight fit, but they do push out. Um, so you push them out and then you can buy. So currently that's 177 caliber. So that's a 177 caliber one. If I can open the bag, which I probably can't. Bear with me. 
you can get these little bushings and these are 2-2 caliber so when you open this up you will see that when you look at it in profile the top piece this piece here is thicker this piece here is thinner so what you do you slide those slide that bushing out slide that that bushing out and then if you look there's a thinner a thinner one and a thicker one and you just slide those in and it, it all it means is it means that for the sake of I think these I'm not sure of the price of these but they're not very expensive uh, but it saves you buying uh, two single shot loaders um, in different calibers so you just get buy one and you can convert it to whatever caliber you want so if you've got um, I don't know say you've got an Alpha Wolf in 177 and a Ghost in 22 same single shot tray buy the one and just pop those out and it's so easy to do they do literally just push out there's a bit of force required obviously because you don't want them falling out when you're shooting but you just prod them out um, and slide in the new ones and away you go and it's brilliant works absolutely falsely uh, quality of finish on it the anodizing on it everything is really nice and it, it looks it complements um, these high-end rifles very nicely so I bought that then I bought a bag rider uh, now these sit on the back on the little Picatinny rail that's on both the uh, Delta Wolf the Alpha Wolf and the Ghost um, now if you want the one for the Ghost uh, buy the specific one for the Ghost because the Ghost has got a slightly shorter Picatinny rail um, and this is the Ghost one so the Ghost one will fit on all of them uh, will fit on the Alpha Wolf and the Delta Wolf but if you buy the one that's for the Delta Wolf or the Alpha Wolf it's a little bit longer so it will overhang and doesn't look quite so neat so I went for the one that goes on the on the Ghost and this will go on the Delta Wolf and the Alpha Wolf and still looks really neat and tidy so nice bag rider and again quality finish everything really really nice it's just beautifully made everything's really nicely made they really are excellent quality not too heavy either aluminium billet machine cnc machine from an aluminium billet and then hard anodized and uh, the finish is superb they look really good very very nice so we've got the bag rider and then i discovered on my uh, on the ghost you cannot do that double uh, load thing with the two magazines uh, because the um, the cheek piece sits too low to enable you to slide a magazine in from the uh, the side that you've got the cheek piece bending over so if you're right handed shooter you can't slide it in from the left if you're left handed shooter you can't slide it in from the right so you need to raise the cheek piece up now it's not a problem on the alpha wolf because the alpha wolf comes with a, a, a cheek piece that's already slightly raised up um, so on the alpha wolf you don't need one of these you can uh, use that magazine from both sides so in, if you've got a ghost you either need to buy one of these or you need to buy um, a alpha wolf or De uh, alpha wolf but a uh, cheek piece so I bought this. I'm not sure which I'm going to put it on because I can just take the cheap piece off my Alpha Wolf and put it on the, the Ghost and put this on the Alpha Wolf or put this on the Ghost. So I'm not sure which way around I'm going to do it. But what it means is that I will be able to have uh, that both air rifles will be able to do that double load thing. And it also gives you a bit more um, play in getting a comfortable air relief, um, especially if you're using night vision and stuff like that. Um, what you do with this this bit here just fits on the rail and then you tighten those up and it holds it on the rail like that and then by undoing these here you can slide this part up and down in these to give you uh, an adjustable height on the cheek piece and the cheek piece the plastic cheek piece that comes with either the Alpha Wolf, Delta Wolf or the Ghost just slides onto this rail here and attaches so you keep the same plastic cheek piece but this just enables you to raise it up or down by uh, the height of that so you get that much adjustment it's about probably about an inch 
um, which is plenty. So I've got that as well. And the other thing I got was this, uh, the PRS adjustable butt. Now, I had, when I had my Delta Wolf, I had a uh, pre-production um, one of these. Um, and it was a bit bigger and a bit heavier. Um, and it also, I also had the much longer arms, much longer arms that were more suitable for field target and HFT. And to be honest, it didn't really shoot me, suit me for what I needed because I wanted it for um, field target, uh, field target. I wanted it for hunting. So this new one that they brought out is lighter, slightly more compact, and you can get these shorter arms as well, which makes it much more suitable for use in the field rather than for field target or HFT shooting. And again, absolutely blisteringly good quality, top, top quality. You can adjust the, uh, the panning on it. You can adjust the arms, they move around as well. And you can slide the whole thing up and down on its mount as well. So it gives you absolute total adjustability to get yourself nice and comfortable. And you can see here what I mean by the Alpha Wolf's uh, cheek piece is already raised on the Alpha Wolf, whereas on the Ghost it isn't. It sits pretty much flat on the rail. So those PRS bits and pieces are going to look really smart. The other thing that I've had for a while now, you can probably see it on the Ghost there, is the uh, long rail that runs underneath the, uh, the bottle which means you can push your bipods right out to the front of the rifle. And again, top, top quality. It's got a little bit of Picatinny at the front, where this is sitting here, that bit there is Picatinny. And then the whole length of the rail, it's got an Arca track on it as well. So if you've got any Arca gear, uh, bipods, uh, tripods, lamps, anything with Arca, you can slide it along the full length of that rail. Really, really useful. So that was the other thing that I've got from uh, PRS. As I say, they're not cheap. They are expensive, but they're exceptionally well made. And they really do look very mighty fine on the rifle when it's there. And if you've got a gun of this, this value and this quality, it's a shame to spoil the ship for a heap of the tar. So you may as well buy really good accessories on it if you're going to put them on. You might as well get the best that you can, uh, you can afford. And uh, yeah, great, great accessories on a really great rifle. So PRS have got that pretty much nailed, really. Um, and that's it for the PRS stuff, I think, for the moment, for these two rifles. Really, really smart. Shoot beautifully. Really do. Both of these rifles are superb. You cannot knock them. Really, really good. You see I've got the two different types of Wraith on. So this is the 2 to 16, and that's the HD one with the bigger mag. I love the way that these rails slide back because you have no trouble at all getting any eye relief. Look how far back those sit on those rifles. Perfect eye relief on them. Just really get your eye pushed up against this so you don't get any scatter when you're using them. Fantastic rifles. And the lamp, instead of fitting it to the top of the... Uh, the Wraith, I've got it on the front Picatinny rail on the rifle, on the Ghost. And I'll have the same thing on the uh, on the Alpha Wolf as well. Fantastic. There's the Akitak bipod. Fit to the, uh, the Alpha. And the Spartan Valhalla. On the ghost superb thanks for watching just thought I'd show you what they look like on so there's the bag rider fitted on the ghost and there's the adjustable cheek piece and now you can see that there's the the cheek piece itself doesn't get in the way on the other side of the rifle so I can slide both magazines in from both sides. 
um, so I can double load it with the mags. And you'll notice here that the other advantage of this PRS thing is, if you're using a very uh, short eye relief scope, like a night sight, if you put, this normally would sit down this end with the rail running that way, uh, because the cheap piece for a normal telescopic sight would probably be more here. But because I've got a really short eye relief, if you reverse it round, you can move it further out the back as well. So you can, there's loads of possibilities with uh, this equipment. And it doesn't interfere in any way with the uh, the rifle at all. So you can put that on whichever way around you want, really. You know what I mean? This this bit here, the front part of it, in effect, with the PRS bit on, can also slide on at this end with this bit here sticking out that side. So you've got tons of adjustability um, as regards your uh, eye relief. On, on these uh, accessories and on these rifles. This uh, top rail that runs all the way along is a brilliant idea. That looks pretty damn good.